Hey, what's up guys? How's it going? Welcome back to another episode of the Hidden Gem R Nas series. Now today we have got Dimitar Berbatov, the United Legend, in this episode. Now, he has only got 57 pace, which is one thing you'll definitely probably see straight away looking at his card. And you'll probably wonder why the hell you would probably bother going with this guy. And the reason you probably would go with this guy, and the reason why I went with him, because apart from his 57 pace, he has got a pretty solid card. I mean, he's got 80 dribbling, which for a tall, slow player isn't bad. 80 shooting, which isn't bad as well, and 80 passing. And he is six foot two as well, so he's pretty tall. 400 coins as well, and he does look like a pretty well-rounded, apart from his pace, looking card. Now, getting into his in-game stats, so he's got some pretty decent stats. He's got 54 acceleration, 60 sprint speed, um, 69 agility which is amazing 52 balance 70 reactions 88 ball control which is the one standout stat there which looks pretty impressive 81 dribbling 82 positioning 83 finishing 82 shot power 70 long shots 82 volleys 86 penalties 82 heading and 82 vision along with 85 short passing as well which for a striker that's not going to normally which is going to normally play as a tiger man is pretty decent as well now getting to how this guy actually played for me in game now as you can see here um he did actually manage to pick up 14 goals in 17 games which I think it's pretty good for a player who has only got 57 pace. I mean, normally, for a slower player, you wouldn't expect him to get that many goals, but Berbatov actually did score a lot, quite a lot of goals. I mean, most of the time, he'd score about two in one game, which I think is pretty decent as well. Four-star skill moves as well for a player who's uh, six foot two and quite slow is also pretty decent as well. Now, one of the things that was quite surprising when I looked at his in-game stats, considering he has 70 long shots, but... His long shots, every now and again, he just score an absolute bang. I mean, he doesn't have amazing pace, so you will have to like, hit a few from long distance to maybe get a few shots on goal. But it's a good thing, though, that his long shots are actually really, really impressive. And that was one thing that actually took me by surprise with this guy. Um, also, as well, his dribbling is pretty decent as well, as you can see the 80 dribbling. But the 88 ball control does kind of show in game because he's not, this, he's not the fastest, so you do kind of need him to have something. And his dribbling does help him out a lot. Um, as well as his strength as well, I can't remember what his strength in-game stat was, but in-game, he does feel like he's pretty strong. Uh, 60 physical he's got on his card, but I might have to do, do something about his head or something, which uh, actually felt pretty decent as long as his strength as well, so I'm not sure what actually brings his physical down. But at least for me, his heading was quite decent. He did score quite a few headers with me, and his uh, strength kind of helped him out as well, and he was not the weakest whatsoever. Um, Finishing-wise, pretty decent. He did miss a few chances where I would have kind of hoped um, he would put them in, because you do need a player if he's slow, to kind of get most, if not all, the shots that you do get with him um, into the back of the net. But for me, Berbatov's a pretty clinical in front of goal. I can't really knock him much um, in terms of finishing, and he was pretty clinical. Um, about his low, low work rates as well, which you've probably seen, to be honest, didn't really feel a difference at all. Low, low work rates, I think, actually helps a player because they don't go flying from one end of the pitch to the other. And uh, Berbatov was in the right place at the right time. Sometimes, in terms of crossing, he wouldn't get on the end of crosses and get on the end like just sticking his foot out or just get on the end of it in terms of heading because he'd just be that f a few inches away from the ball which might be helped if he had a bit more pace but most of the time he would get on the end of it and he would just take that um, that finishing, that poacher style of play that you do want him to um, to take with a 57 pace striker. And all in all, I mean for a 57 pace striker you will get what you want. A finisher who's just going to stay in the box, head the ball into the box, volley into the box, do whatever he needs to do to get the ball into the back of the net. And for me, Berbatov did exactly that. Great heading, great finishing and all around a great player. And for that reason I'm going to give this guy a 10 out of 10. The highest rating I've given any player on this series so far. But I think Berbatov, the United legend, definitely not being biased when I say this. I'm actually not being biased though. He is a really, really good player in this game and I would definitely recommend picking him up. And uh, in terms of how you can actually get him into a team, I've put a, I've put a little um, screen of like a picture of what team I've got him in in there so you can see what actually team I've got him in. Because he is pretty difficult to get him into a team. But this is the team I've got him into. It's a pretty decent team. We've got an inform there, Alderweireld. And uh, all around it's a pretty decent team and he will hopefully do well for you. So, hope you guys have enjoyed this video. If you have, then be sure to like the like button down below. And don't forget to subscribe guys and I'll see you guys next time. See you later.